Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be talking about a very interesting platform called Polkadot and we'll be discussing what this platform and its coin are and we'll take a look at the price section and some predictions. So if you want to learn more about the crypto world, make sure to like and subscribe and also leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the video. So let's get straight to the point. Here is a Polkadot website where you can find all the information about this platform. So let's talk about it more. The first thing I want to talk about is the technology behind this. So this is a scalable, interoperable and secure network protocol for the next web. And it is a network protocol that allows arbitrary data and not just tokens to be transferred across blockchains. So that means Polkadot is a true multi-chain application environment where things like cross-chain registries and cross-chain computation are possible. Polkadot can transfer this data across public, open permissionless blockchains and as well as private permissioned blockchains. So this makes it possible to build applications that get permission data from a private blockchain and use it on a public blockchain. So for instance, a school's private permissioned academic records chain could send a proof to a degree verification smart contract on a public chain. So Polkadot unites a network of heterogeneous blockchains called pair chains and pair threads. So these chains connect to and are secured by the Polkadot relay chain. And they can also connect with external networks via bridges. So these are the components that are building this protocol. So as I said, the first thing is the relay chain and it is the heart of Polkadot responsible for the network's shared security, consensus and cross-chain interoperability. And there are pair chains and pair threads. So pair chains are sovereign blockchains that can have their own tokens and optimize their functionality for specific use cases. And when it comes to pair threads, they are very similar to pair chains, but they have a pay as you go model. So they are mo more economical for blockchains that don't need continuous connectivity to the network. And also there are bridges that allow pair chains and pair threads to connect and communicate with external networks like Ethereum and Bitcoin. And down here you can see some consensus roles. Uh, so you have nominators, validators, collators and fishermen and also you do have some governance roles here. So there are council members and technical committee. So if you want to learn, learn more about this, you can check their website and find the information here. And I want to talk about the technology behind uh, this protocol even more. So Polkadot's relay chain is built with Substrate which is a blockchain building framework that is the distillation of parity technologies learnings building Ethereum, Bitcoin and enterprise blockchains. Also Polkadot state machine is compiled to WebAssembly and it is a super performant virtual environment. And this WebAssembly is developed by major companies, including Google, Apple, Microsoft and a lot more. Also, Polkadot's networking uses libp2p, which is a flexible cross-platform network framework for peer-to-peer -peer applications. Uh, the Polkadot runtime run environment is being coded in Rust, C++ and Golang, and it's making Polkadot accessible to a wide range of developers. Also, pair chains that I talked about are specialized blockchains that connect to Polkadot and they will have characteristics specialized for the use cases and the ability to control their own governance. So in this, these interactions on pair chains are processed in parallel, enabling highly scalable systems. And these transactions can be spread out across the chains, allowing many more transactions to be processed in the same period of time. Uh, this Polkadot uh, protocol is solving many of the problems that have held back blockchain technology so far and down here you can see some of the benefits that this uh, network is uh, giving to us. So the first one here is a better security model and you know that in both proof-of-work and proof-of-stake systems blockchains compete with each other over resources to secure their networks and blockchains are easily attacked until they develop a significant community to support their network. 
So Polkadot takes a different approach by letting blockchains pool their security, which means that the blockchain security is aggregated and applied to all. And by connecting with Polkadot, blockchain developers can secure their blockchain from day one. Uh, also, uh, this is, as they say, a green energy efficient protocol. So, you know, it's hard to get behind blockchain as the next technological revolution when it wastes so much energy. And this network, Polkadot, is designed to power the web's next big wave of innovation without the high energy consumption. So uh, Polkadot's nominated proof of stake model uses a small fraction of the energy consumed by conventional blockchains and has the lowest carbon footprint among proof of stake protocols and that's maybe uh, the biggest benefit of them all. Uh, also, it is uh, a transparent on-chain governance and these updates to the protocol happen fork-free via transparent on-chain voting. So protocol development never stalls due to the lack of a clear process. Uh, the relay chain uses a sophisticated governance mechanism that is designed to establish a transparent, accountable and binding process for resolving disputes and upgrading the network. Uh, also, DOT tokens are used to participate in governance decisions, including tabling proposals, voting and bonding. And I'm going to talk more now about these tokens that I mentioned at the beginning. Uh, dot. So DOT are token native to the Polkadot network for the purpose of carrying out the key functions of the platform as detailed right here. So this DOT token serves three distinct purposes, governance over the network, staking and bonding. So when it comes to governance, Polkadot token holders have a complete control over the protocol. So all privileges, which on other platforms are exclusive to miners, will be given to the relay chain participants or dot holders, including managing exceptional events such as uh, protocol upgrades and also fixes. Uh, when it comes to staking, um, game theory incentivizes token holders to behave in honest ways. So good actors are rewarded by this mechanism, whilst bad actors will lose their stake in the network. So this ensures the network stays secure. Also there is bonding and these new parachains are added by bonding tokens. So outdated or non-useful parachains are removed by removing bonded tokens. So this is a form of proof of stake. So that is something about these DOT tokens. And uh, uh, I want to tell you to definitely follow these guys on Twitter because you ha here have all of the news and all the information that uh, you want to find. Uh, so give these guys a big follow as I did. And at the end, I want to talk about the price section and I want to talk about uh, what's going on with this uh, DOT coin. So as you can see here, uh, it had some bullish moves uh, right here and at, uh, at the same time when Bitcoin went up but at the moment the price is in decline and we are uh, as I can see somewhere at 18 uh, so when it comes to a smaller time frame you can see here that the price is ranging and we are constantly experiencing some higher highs and higher lows and we do have here a kind of a support level and kind of a resistance point that we're trying to break through. So uh, it is a very simple pattern. If we manage to break through right here, what I can expect to see is the price going down here, making this the next resistance, um, the next support and again going up. But if not, we can go down again uh, to this uh, support level. So we'll just have to wait and see if we manage to actually break through this resistance point at once. So that's it for the market review and I hope you enjoyed watching and as I said make sure to like and subscribe for more crypto content and also leave a comment down below if with your thoughts on the video. So at the end I just want to say that I'm not a financial advisor and any investments you make on your own liability. So thanks for watching and see you soon.